Investigation continues into the murder of a man in Midtown Mobile. And Bob, investigators aren't releasing any information about possible suspects, a motive, or what might have happened. Tonight, Fox 10 News reporter Renee Diles talks to a friend of the murder victim. Kaiser Myrie had not lived in Mobile long, but friends say the 23-year-old was already involved in the community and making a difference. It's one of the things that's so heartbreaking about this issue, that, uh, this, this incident, is that Kaiser was out there in the community trying to help underserved children so that they can have more hope and more opportunity in life. Rye Shields says Myrie joined the Rotaract Club for young people. Shields attended a memorial service for Myrie in Birmingham Tuesday. Uh, there was a lot of laughing and a lot of crying, but uh, overall I would say it was a, a good experience and a, a good way to say goodbye to Kaiser. While Shields and others were at the service, Mobile Police were continuing their investigation into Myrie's murder. A pickup truck and camper were towed from a nearby parking lot. The lot is owned by a local law firm. An employee for the firm told Fox 10 it's not uncommon for people in the neighborhood to use the spaces over the weekend. It was first thought the vehicles were Kaiser Myrie's, but Fox 10 News has learned the black pickup belongs to Myrie's roommate. Police say the young engineer was shot inside his home on Macy Place late Friday. They have released no other details. Friends and family are hoping for answers as they continue to mourn the loss of a young life. He just always had a smile from ear to ear, you know, and uh, just always so happy to be around and uh, just very genuine, one of the most genuine people I ever knew. In Mobile, I'm Renee Dows, Fox 10 News.